I have Nate Adams, often known as Nate the House Whisperer, and uh, I just installed a Daikin Fit heat pump in one of our houses here in West Virginia. We're uh, working on two houses that are going to be Airbnbs. One is called the Game House. It's very nearly complete, and uh, we had a complete duct system installed in it, as well as a one and a half ton Daikin Fit. Uh, so I've been quite impressed by the system thus far, and I wanted to do a quick video on the energy monitor in it. So see here it says Game House, and then Heat Pump. That's what we're looking at. Uh, so this is, as I'm recording it, basically what's going on. So it's kind of unusual. I'm not sure why it's pulling so many watts right now, because it's pretty temperate outside right now. It's 55 degrees or thereabouts. Um, but I can swing this back a little ways, and you can see some of the cycles. So this is what the cycles usually look like. It ramps up, it runs for a couple of minutes, and it comes down. So this is minute by minute. Um, and look over here to see what it's pulling. So 0.71 kilowatts is uh, 700 watts, 710 watts. So if I pull this over, you can see it's pulling 640 watts. This was 1 o'clock uh, this afternoon. Um, but I want to slide back because yesterday it was actually fairly cold. And so there were a couple of nice long systems. So while well, this was this morning, I turned the heat up. Uh, I was at 67 last night, and I turned it up to 69. Um, and I, I saw somebody else made a comment that this control for them, it was reading 66, and they had two other monitors that were reading 71. And it wouldn't surprise me if this is off, because like 66, 68 is comfortable, and normally I prefer temperatures a little over 70 for heat mode. And, uh, but you can see that it's doing quite a bit of running here. Um, so it's pulling about 600 watts here at the end before it starts shutting down. But one thing I found was interesting, note how tall this bar is. So it was already running when I uh, turned the heat up. So I turned the heat up right around 7 o'clock. And you can see uh, uh, it ramped up. Let's See just how high that went. Oop, went too far that way. 1660 watts, so that was average for that minute. Um, so that is flat out, more or less. I've seen 1750 watts, something out of that. This is a one and a half ton unit. It's pretty close to a thousand watts per ton, in my experience. And uh, so it's a one and a half ton unit, so it can do a little bit more than one and a half tons, which makes sense. Um, it's not really a one and a half ton compressor. It's got more. Um, but let's keep scooting back. So it wasn't super cold last night, but um, it was a little bit. But note this here. See this nice flat line where it ran for quite a while. Uh, so let's see about what time it started. 5.42 in the morning to 6.04. So 20 minutes running at 300 watts or thereabouts. That's really pretty remarkable. Um, so 300 watts works out to about a third of a ton. A window unit is typically 5,000 BTUs, which is a little less than half a ton. So this is running with a central system with less power output than a window rattler air conditioner. Uh, that's pretty killer. And I like seeing how it, it goes. So it ramps up a little bit and then it ramps down and it just kind of chugs along uh, and it, at this point it must have decided that it wasn't moving things fast enough so it ramped up for a little bit and then it satisfied and it shut off. So uh, it's just it's cool to watch how this system runs. But let me see if I can get back. Oh, so here's another one. So this is a nice long run cycle. So this is a you know half an hour run cycle. About midnight. 17 watts is what it uses for the, the pan heater. Uh, so this cycle was shorter, uh, 6.30 Wednesday night, and so it's, it's Thursday night now. I should be in bed, but uh, Emporia View, which is what this monitor is, it doesn't save the second and minute data for very long, just a couple days. So I, I wanted to go take a look at this. 
two, two. Oh, dang it. Oh, so I may have hit the end of what it will show me. Because Wednesday morning it was quite cold. Can I get back to it? Oh yeah, well, so here you go. It was uh, it was about freezing, and you know it's going to be eighty degrees here this weekend. So it was, uh, we had snow last weekend, and then eighty degrees this weekend. But uh, here it is running again. So three hundred and twenty watts. Look how nice and long this cycle is. And it's got a similar pattern, so it runs at that low level for a long time and then decides, okay, we need to kick it up a little bit to get it to satisfy, and then it shuts off a few minutes later. Um, but uh, that's a the nice long run cycle. And then it was only off for a little while, and then before that, it was on for a while too. Now, this was the same thing. I probably turned the temperature up, so it ramped up to... Uh, 1600 watts or thereabouts and did a nice long run cycle but this is what you want to see I guess is the point that I, I need to make uh, you want to see a system that ramps up relatively slow and then it runs low and slow for a long time you, you want it to run as close to 24 7 as is possible and I like seeing what I'm seeing out of the system so here's another cycle and oh you know what it, it there were a couple cycles here where it, it ramped way up, so it must not have been happy with how fast it was moving the house. Let's get, so, I mean, it, it, all these cycles are pretty long. So these are all solid half an hour cycles. If you time a single stage system, it may only run for 5, 10, 20 minutes before it shuts off. I mean, look at this cycle here. Look how long it was running. So it turned on at... 6.05 a.m. I mean, it kind of turned off there. That was probably, this is probably a defrost cycle right here. Um, it ramped up some. This is probably when I woke up and turned the temperature up. Should not be using setback, but uh, here I am using a degree or two of setback. Uh, so was it 6.09 it started? So that system ran for over an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. That's incredible. Um, this is really, really nice to see, and this makes me very impressed with this system. Um, and here we are. The, the system needed a fair amount of power to do its job, but nothing crazy. 650, this is two-thirds of a ton, and it's a one-and-a-half ton system, and it'll do a little bit more than one-and-a-half. But look, here's another really long cycle, an hour-long cycle. Um, in fact, it's probably more than that because I'm betting that when you see it drop off like this and come back immediately, that's almost for sure a defrost cycle where the outdoor unit turned into basically a block of ice. So it runs the system backwards for a couple minutes to pump heat from indoors back into the outdoor unit to unthaw it, and then it kicks back into heating mode and takes off again. So that's probably what's happening there. Yeah, look at this. This thing was running. So this night it was around freezing. So this is the only... Uh, night since the system's been installed where it was reasonably cold and look it's, it's just chugging along at you know 300 watts 400 watts this is a nice modulating system here's another defrost cycle and look it ran like all that night look at that i i hadn't gone back to look through all this data yet um this is absolutely incredible what a nice little system um, and the daikin fit it's not a particularly expensive system um, it's substantially less than the carrier green speeds I've been using for years. Yeah, look at that. That system, holy cow, when did it ever? So it turned on at, what, 10.10 uh, 10 p.m. And it's just running. It's running. Oh, there's the frost cycle. It's running. So there's two hours. There's three hours. There's four hours. Another defrost cycle. So at 10 o'clock, there's five hours. It ran all night. Look at that. Six hours. Seven hours. So after about eight hours, it finally shut off. That's incredible. And I have to say that the comfort in this house is really, really good. It's better than the one that I'm sitting in here. 
This is our own house, which has a Bosch heat pump, which tends to freak out. Um, it's like, oh crap, there's load, and it ramps all the way up, and it stays there, and then it shuts off. Um, uh, so it runs at two tons or nothing. Um, I have a dip switch, so it can't run at three. It can only run at two. Um, but it tends to freak out and then shut off, and it's really annoying. This system here is doing what you want to see it do. Oh, and look at that. See, I didn't uh, play with it for a little bit, and it kicked back to Thursday. So uh, anyway, I wanted to make this video to show how nice the Daikin Fit is modulating. Um, it's still very early. This thing hasn't even been running for a week yet. Um, but uh, I am very excited about this system and very optimistic. So I'm, I'm happy that I tried this out. So to my friend Roman, who uh, badgered me until I decided to try one of these, thank you. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.